checking yourself unconscious bias that's the, that's the first starting point like i mentioned so how would you feel if your nephew your niece or nephew your child son daughter brought home a black person partner and naturally how you'd feel that is your that is your real answer isn't it because it's emotional and it's personal so once you experience that the next thing you've got to be thinking of is okay well have i got any um personal friends or in my life if from childhood to now have i you know had genuine experiences with somebody of a different color you know that i that was positive rather than fighting algae and da 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 okay so all those little things will make that's your checks isn't it your internal checks i think and with that you know your answer don't you then you'll know where and why you're doing what you're doing and then what you need to be doing to make that effort of trying to you know recognizing i've been carrying this all my life i.e my values moral compass yeah um and now i'm, I'm understanding what it means you know because i've got the white right privilege i've never thought about it until now and the more we get on the better at that and become the kind of the, you know the whole allies thing um being an ally in it then the more we're going to actually be that person to make an effort to sit nearer to that person to make them feel like actually fine because i could tell you now i've been that person felt excluded for a long while people don't sit next to me at conferences because i'm an ordinary person until they introduce my name do you understand yeah. um so it's just those little things of making a difference, making people like me feel included, not, you know, make us feel visible, not invisible. Um, smiling, just nice little things, you know, it just makes a difference. And I've seen people making a difference since Black Lives Matters in giving you eye contact and smiling, morning, you'd be surprised. That's just like respect for me rather than expecting me to jump, walk out. You know, even when you're going down the street, people expect you to walk out of their way. Why do I also have to walk out of your way? And if I don't, then I'm in the wrong. Do you understand? There's loads of little things that you kind of, I think that white people take for granted again, that we're expected to do things, otherwise we're the aggressor, when actually we're both equal here, we're both people, and we should respect each other.